Who are the primary stakeholders in shale energy development? As natural gas development, in particular unconventional development, has taken place in the U.S., across the U.S. and beyond, we find that there are several tiers of stakeholders uh, that we've interacted with in the, in the variety of different um, uh, outreach programs and other work that we've done, including with our research. Primary stakeholders typically tend to be uh, landowners or those that will say are closest to development. So that could be uh, politicians, that could be elected officials, we'll say in a, in a broader sort of a way, um, as well as community members that are, that are being impacted or, or trying to manage the implications of shale development. There's also a second tier of uh, stakeholders that are maybe a little bit more distance or maybe at a arm's length from the, from the development. And certainly they're having uh, an impact in where the development is going as well and trying to influence uh, the outcome, again, of any, any type of energy development, but certainly with uh, shale development. But if I had to say that the primary tier, they would be those that are uh, closest to it. So those that are within the footprint or near the footprint of the development as it's occurring or those that are uh, being uh, impacted by that same development. 